my daughter, she was just six months old when I was diagnosed. And, you know, I began to wonder what her life would be like without me. I was um, noticing some bruising on my arms. At that time, I really was convinced that everything was just gonna be fine and it was no big deal. And got a call from my doctor and she told me that I had no red blood cells, I had no white blood cells, and I needed to get to the ER immediately. You know, they tested me, they gave me a bone marrow biopsy and confirmed that I had leukemia. When you're talking about blood cancers, you're typically referring to three different categories of diseases. These are leukemias and myelodysplastic syndrome, uh, lymphomas and multiple myeloma. They share a common feature of attacking certain organs. And these are organs that we depend on to help us make healthy blood cells and to maintain a healthy immune system. When it came down to being diagnosed with cancer or being hearing the words leukemia, my initial thought is, okay, show me the way, show me what I need to do so that um, I can beat this and I can move past it and, um, and get on with our lives. We're looking for specific genetic lesions, genetic mutations that may prove different from one patient to another and can provide the basis for uh, real differences in treatment. Angela went through a very intensive program of chemotherapy in combination with biologic therapy. And in this clinical immunotherapy program, we're offering patients novel immune system-based treatments that utilize the patient's own immune system cells to fight off cancer. So this is a very exciting area. I know that the treatment that I have been um, provided with is, is state-of-the-art and that, um, that everybody's going to fight for my life as hard as I fought for my life. We match our doctors with the specific diagnosis of any one individual patient. And this is all that our doctors and our team members do so they know these diseases we think better than anyone, inside and out. It's not just a hospital, it is, um, it's a family. It is um, people who just genuinely care and people who um, really want to see you do well. Well, today Angela's doing great. Uh, if you looked at her, you'd never know that she was sick a day in her life. Uh, more than five years later, Angela has remained in a remission and she's likely cured. Um, but my daughter, uh, she was so young, uh, she crawled at Moffitt. It was the first time she crawled was here. Um, she, you know, knew all of the people that worked at Moffitt. Everybody stopped and said hello to her. And it's like a community of people. And it's a community of people who genuinely care. They're not doing it just because it's their job. They're doing it because it's their passion.